Caroline, thank you. And Brian, how early will Laura make landfall, and when can we expect to see it right here in the Orclamus? Well, it looks like at least at this time, Laura is still on track to make landfall very, very early tomorrow morning. And uh, we can easily, though, start to see the effects as early as today as those outer bands start to move into our area. So it's now a Category 3. What does that mean? Well, uh, Category 3 hurricane strength is officially major hurricane status, and anything above that, 3, 4, and 5, is also considered major hurricane status. Below that is just general hurricane status, but regardless, though, it's going to be a very impactful storm as it uh, continues to move through. What you're looking at right now is a look at, the, for, at Laura from the International Space Station, and this was shot when it was a Category 2 storm, and it still looks like the main threats with this system will be along the coastline with storm surge and very, very heavy rainfall, and some locations could see as high as 14 feet with the amount of storm surge expected. So definitely quite an impactful system, especially the further south. Wow, Brian, that looked massive on that NASA map. I mean, it really just kind of takes over the globe there. Anything else you want to tell our viewers? Well, there's still some very subtle uncertainties that we have to look forward to as we head into the next uh, 12 to 24 hours, with it being uh, maybe a Cat 4, possibly even at landfall. It's at least scheduled to be a 3, but if it's stronger than expected or even if it shifts a little bit eastward, uh, we could be dealing with more significant impacts here in the Arclimus. All right, thank you mm -hmm. so much, Brian, for that update. And